We need to live lives that people say, I want what they have. Right? That's the witness that's there. But they also need to hear what that is. So it's both word and sacrament. And importantly, it's both interior change and social transformation. So it's not only the internal personal change of the believer, although that's essential, it also involves transforming social structures. It also involves the, the transformation of, of uh, cultural realities in order to allow people to more freely and more effectively live out the gospel, to live out the, um, the word of God. The new evangelization is connected to the very life identity of the church, the responsibility of the church and all its members, multifaceted and complex, and rooted in the situation of those being evangelized. So in many ways, the new evangelization isn't new, it's renewed. It isn't new, it's just reshaped in light of contemporary culture. It's saying, not only do we evangelize uh, to those who have never heard the gospel message, we evangelize to ourselves, to those within the Christian community, and to those who have been baptized but have not been fully catechized. 